All right, guys, Scott here from Red Rock Maintenance, and today I'm going to show you how to install the uh, Steel Auto Cut uh, C26.2 uh, speed feed head on the trimmer. <laughs> So I decided to buy this um, for our trimmer so we didn't have to keep on replacing the, uh, the string the normal way on the stills because I'm so used to doing the uh, Echo Now with the speed feed head so much more better and quicker. So I decided to buy the still one. Now I in Canada here, this was expensive. This was $57 Canadian plus tax. So I was he uh, hesitant to buy it but I decided to try it out because I wanted to see what these ones are like compared to the Echoes. And I just like the speed feed heads much better and much quicker to get the string in. Alright, so what comes in this package is the speed feed head. And on the back you've got the instructions, alright. So we're going to take this out and then we're going to um, install it on the uh, still trimmer. I'm not going to open any packages, let me tell you. Show the instructions over there. There you go. All right, so just before I install it, this one's pretty heavy. This one's a lot heavier than the uh, Echo one. So, you know, not sure how it's gonna go, but I wanted to really try it. Um, I assume it's the exact same way as uh, Echo, but actually the Echo, you turn it at the top. The still one here looks like you turn it at the bottom. Okay, so let's do this. All right, so to take this off, you wanna take the nail, Stick it in the hole here until it stops spinning. Right there, and then you're gonna just keep on turning it. I think it's counterclockwise, I believe it is. Oh, let's be this way. Here we go. Alrighty, so you wanna make sure you keep this on. That on, to take the, uh, the new speed feed head. Take it, do the same thing, but you're gonna do it the opposite way. There we go. Take the uh, nail, put it back in. Find this spot. There we go. Not sure why that didn't wanna go back on. Straight, but there we go, it's back on. All right, so that's how you install the speed feed head. Now, can't wait to try this out. So basically it's the same as the Echo. So you'll stick the, uh, stick the string through the holes. You gotta make sure the arrows line up. So let's flip it over. So you've got the arrows right here, arrow here and arrow on the uh, hole and you should just be able to restring it. All right, so that's how you install that. Once I actually uh, start using this, I will uh, show you how to install the string on this one as well. All right, guys, short video, but I just wanna show you how to do that quickly, the new thing that we got, cause uh, yeah, I always like buying new things and trying them out. So I hope this works just as good as the Echo. If you guys have used the still one, let me know in the comments below. Um, I was actually talking to the guy in the shop and he said they're all coming with the new speed feed heads on them now. So should be, uh, Pretty nice for new trimmers when you buy them. Alright guys, if you haven't done sorry, please like the video, subscribe to the channel.